NASA's commercial crew program could get a third provider as Senate appropriators ask NASA for a new crew vehicle with $50 million to get it started. No names mentioned, but Sierra Space is clearly ramping up for astronaut operations, appointing two NASA veterans to key management positions. The first Dream Chaser space plane, Tenacity, almost out of the factory, is intended only for cargo missions to the International Space Station. But Sierra Space will tell you they can adapt the Dream Chaser design for a crew vehicle as well. This is Space World Update for the week of July 31st, 2022. Hi folks, I'm Jack. Now, before you guys go off half-cocked and place your bets on Sierra Space, calm down and let me clarify something. Nothing official has happened yet. Okay? As of this date, commercial crew is still only SpaceX Crew Dragon and Boeing Starliner, which NASA expects to fly the first crew test mission in September. No date set as of yet. It's just that when Senate appropriators strongly suggest that a third crew vehicle is a good idea and pencil in $50 million for it, you can expect NASA to listen. Some context. The recommendation was part of a report last week from the Senate Appropriations Committee for the fiscal year 2023 uh, federal budget. At this point, it's simply a baseline. It's called the Chairman's Mark, the chair in this case being Senator Patrick Leahy of Vermont. In other words, it's not the final federal budget. It's a Democratic document subject to amendment uh, in the committee and later on the Senate floor. There are 12 bills altogether, and NASA's budget is inside a bill called Commerce, Justice, and Science, and it recommends funding NASA overall at the same level that it asked for, about $25.97 billion. That's roughly $2 billion more than this year. Within that, there are some differences from NASA's request for specific programs. Uh, if you really want all the details, let me suggest a couple of places you can go for that. Space News, of course, has a full report from reporter Jeff Faust, as does Marcia Smith with SpacePolicyOnline.com. Uh, you can probably find breakdown stories in other media outlets as well. It's just that for now, it's not something I'm going to get deep into the weeds on. I'm just here to tee it up for you. Now, let me get back to commercial crew. Sierra Space has just announced some major changes. It has appointed Mkwatsi Bwaha Ali Baraho, informally known as Kwatsi, as Senior Vice President of Mission and Launch and Recovery Operations, and Jeff Davis as Vice President of Flight Operations. The company news release says both will report directly to Sierra Space's Chief Operating Officer, Jeff Babion, and will play key roles in the Dream Chaser program. Now, if those names remind you of the Space Shuttle, well, they should. Both men are deep NASA veterans. Ali Baraho was a flight director going back to 2005, and he was the lead flight director of the final Space Shuttle mission, uh, STS-135. Later, he worked with the International Space Station. Davis is also a former flight controller for the shuttle, but he has been with Sierra Space since 2011, so this is a promotion for him. Personally, I suspect that Davis may have been one of those people who advocated that Dream Chaser be included in the original down select for commercial crew years ago, but obviously that did not happen. Now there's more. Uh, Sierra Space earlier named a senior vice president for engineering, a man named Corbett Honiger. Sierra Space recently announced plans for a human spaceflight center uh, for an astronaut training academy that will recruit, train, and prepare future commercial astronauts. It's also set up a national security advisory group with retired generals and Lori Garver, among other people. In other words, guys, they're going for it. Uh, the turbines are spinning up, and if, if, Dream Chaser Tenacity makes it successfully next year to the International Space Station, it's a good possibility that Sierra Space and NASA will then sign an agreement to develop a crew variant of Dream Chaser. Uh, to paraphrase an old actress named Betty Davis, uh, fasten your seatbelts, uh, it's going to be a wild ride in the next year or two. Uh, quickly, upcoming launches. 
Rocket Lab Electron for NRO on Tuesday, August 2nd out of New Zealand. That is expected T0, 1 a.m. Eastern Time. Thursday the 4th, ULA sends up an Atlas V at Slick 41 at the Cape. Uh, the plan payload is SBIRS Geo 6, a satellite going to geosynchronous transfer orbit. That's scheduled for 629 Eastern Time. And just three hours later, Blue Origin launches its latest New Shepard mission with Colby Cotton, Mario Ferreria, Vanessa O'Brien, Clint Kelly, Sarah Sabre, and Steve Young. Everything, of course, is subject to change. Now, that's the report for this week. And if you like this report, do us a favor, please. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube. And more importantly, subscribe. We need your subscriptions. Please hit the red subscribe button on your screen. And also, if you tap the little bell icon, you'll see a notification as soon as there is a new post from Space World Update. We really need you. Space World Update cannot continue without subscribers. You can also follow us on Twitter for updates during the week. Uh, also note the account name there is Space World Up, not Update, because I guess we couldn't fit in all the characters into the Twitter name. Thank you for watching this. Have a great week at Astra. We'll see you next time.